This is Colin O'Keefe for LXPN TV, and today we are discussing a recent report from the FTC concerning privacy in mobile applications geared towards children. Joining me is Lindsay Tonsiger, uh, attorney at Covington and Burling, and author on the firm's blog Inside Privacy. Uh, Lindsay, starting off, can you give me some background on this report? What what did the FTC do to prepare this? Yeah, sure, and thanks for having me on. Um, first of all. So the, what the FTC did is they conducted a survey of a couple hundred mobile applications that are directed to children that are offered through the two largest mobile app stores. And the way they figured out which apps to look at is they conducted a search using the word kids and then they examined the pages that were promoting the apps within the Apple, uh, uh, the Apple and Google app stores. And and then they also looked at the landing pages of the app developers' websites. And what they were looking for is whether or not either those promotional pages or the application developers' websites contained any disclosures describing how the mobile app either collected, used, or disclosed the child's personal information. And it's really important to recognize that at this stage, they were only looking at the disclosures. They weren't actually downloading or using any of the apps and you know, doing any analysis of what the app developers' actual practices were. However, they warned that in the next six months, they're going to be conducting additional reviews. And so that might be an area where they, they look in the future. I see. So... So in basic terms, what is the report asking of the mobile developments? I know, I, I know it's a very early report, but they had some viewpoints coming out of this. So, you know, what are they asking of these mobile app developers? Yeah, the report contains some really concrete recommendations for app developers. They want app developers to provide really simple simple, concise disclosures, either using uh, a text disclosure or using icons that represent certain uh, practices that are really easy to find and easy to understand for parents. They also focus that these disclosures should be uh, easily accessible on a small screen device, so a cell phone or, or the smaller screen of, of a mobile tablet, uh, rather than something that's really long and may, might be used on a website. Mm -hmm. The notices should actually contain some pretty specific things. They want to know what information is being collected from children, how it's being used, and whether or not it's being disclosed to any third parties. They also want app developers to specify whether or not the app uh, connects with any social media tools or contains any targeted advertising. It's interesting to note that the, the report actually went beyond just providing recommendations for app developers. The FTC staff stated that they expect everyone within the mobile app ecosystem, so that includes the app stores and any other third parties that might collect personal information th from children through the application, mm -hmm. to do their part to make sure that parents are informed. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very interesting. And, and lastly, did the report say anything about these, these in-app purchases? And that sort of thing. I know these have been a pain point for, for parents especially where, you know, they approve an app for their children and then all of a sudden they're buying credits within the application that parents may not be aware of. Um, right. Did the report mention that? Yeah, the, the report did mention in-app purchases, and it talked about how the FTC is actually in the process of evaluating whether any additional protections are required for in-app purchases. Uh, like you mentioned, they are also concerned that this is a, a particular issue uh, that parents are wanting more information about. For now, what they said is that these disclosures should include whether or not the application permits children to, uh, per, to have in-app purchases, to make in-app purchases. And, and so we'd see some additional, um, as they continue to look at these things, we might see some additional guidance on that point. I also wanted to mention, it's, it's really uh, the timing of the report is very interesting. You know, just yesterday, the, uh, we had six major mobile app platforms announce new principles for uh, informing parents and uh, informing users more generally about how mobile apps are collecting, using, and disclosing their information. Mm -hmm. So under these principles, now the app stores will be providing uh, app developers a way to either link to their existing privacy policies or a statement of what their practices are, or if they don't want to use a link, they can just copy and paste in text that will provide all users more information about the app developers' privacy practices. I see. Well, this is a very, I mean, I personally view this as a very important story. You know, data privacy and privacy in particular are big issues. But when you get into children's information being collected, you know, nowadays, you know, kids live their almost entire life online. A kid takes, a, you know, parents take a picture and then their image is online for the entirety that they're on this earth. But 
it's, it's something that we got to be careful of, especially with mobile applications. Uh, once again, that was Lindsay Tonzer of Covington and Burling. For more on this story, be sure to visit InsidePrivacy.com. Definitely one of the best data security and privacy publications on the LexBlock network. And, of course, LXBN.LexBlock.com. Thanks, Lindsay. Thank you.